hi everyone um, after a long time today I got an opportunity to upload some new video so that is uh, difference between rel 6 and 7 okay so what is the difference between rel 6 and 7 uh, this type of question may occur from an interview point of view or else as a Linux admin you guys should know what is the difference between 6 and 7 uh, we don't want to go that much of deep uh, dive into this difference at least as a system admin and the interview point of view we should know few things okay we'll see one by one if you see the boot time in rel 6 it's 40 second hardly it will take but in rel 7 it is 20 second due to some booting level architecture changes okay and the file system for the default file system in rel 6 is ext4 in rel 7 it is exfs the processor architecture the supports 32 and 64 bit in rel 6 in rel 7 it will support only 64 bit the managing the service and all we can do uh, with the service command and restarting and enabling the service by using check config d but in rel 7 everything can be managed by system ctl the system ctl the init d uh, sorry the system ctl replaces the init d and services okay so you can enabling the service and restarting the service managing the service by using system ctl the managing a network by using setup command here nmqi you can managing and enabling the activating the interface cars there is a small change in resizing a file system here we will use resize to fs but in xfs xfs underscore grow fs tune a file system here we are using a command called tune to fs here xfs underscore admin and the ip tables and the firewall management in rel 6 it's ip tables and rel 7 it's a firewall d the kernel version for rel 6 it will start from 2.6 and rel 7 it will start from 3.0 the another notables uh, is lvm point of view whether it can be shrink shrinkable or not in rel 7 by using ext4 although you can but in xfs you couldn't shrink the volume in lvm since the architecture is defined like that so you couldn't uh, shrink the volume by using xfs on rel 7 uh, we'll see a few uh, few things in rel 8 as well uh, the architecture level you can see what are the architecture it will support i have listed over there and the default file system sorry the default database what are the default database existing um, to compare the earlier version uh, here and there it might be MariaDB or it might be a MySQL like that but now in rel 8 we have this number of DBs available and the package management uh, is done by DNF and in rel 8 onwards MV4 okay and then the kernel version it will start from 4 dot series and the firewall is managed by NFS tables and the cockpit is a default web console tool for the server management and these are few things in rel 8 there are a lot of changes and a lot of updates and features here and there but you can uh, just recollect these things hope everyone understand the difference between rel 6 and 7 and also a few things we have uh, seen in rel 8 as well thanks for watching we'll see you on next session goodbye